Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What is going on, beautiful people? Hello, hello. Let me see those airplane emojis in the chat. You guys ready to get started today? But while you're doing that, while you are doing that, what is going on, beautiful, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue, and this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are in the top mock studios, F-22 Raptor today. This is not new. It's been out for a few weeks. Um, but this is honestly my first time getting the chance to check to check it out. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a I'm a big fan of of uh, fighter jets and fast movers and military power. Um, but I've never really been very impressed by any fighter jet in Microsoft Flight Sim so far. Uh, but this one right here, this one right here is growing on me. I'm gonna be honest. I started doing some uh, testing with it last night. And I was like, you know what? This ain't too bad. This ain't too bad. I feel like if you get some friends to fly in formation with you and you get a little creative with the way you fly it, you could definitely have some fun with this. Uh, or honestly, with any jet, but with this one in particular, um, before we even start the stream, I'll just, I probably shouldn't say this because I, I end up, you know, kicking myself in the butt <laughs> uh, for, for complimenting things before I finish flying them. Um, but I'm, I'm, this is one of the better fighter jets on Microsoft Flight Sim right now, um, for sure. Um, that goes with like the F-18, uh, what's it called, the Warrior, the free Warrior mod on Flight Sim TO, which is my favorite fighter jet currently. Um, and even possibly better than the F-35, which a lot of people have said a lot of great things about. Um, yeah, the drop tanks do... Yeah, compromise the stealth, but we're gonna bring them so we don't run out of fuel today. So we're doing something kind of interesting today. I, I had I had another plan. I, I had a plan of what I wanted to do, but it requires that we have ATC. Now we are on the Vatim multiplayer network, and oh hey, wait a second. Now ATC might have just popped up somewhere. We might be able to figure something out. Uh, we're gonna do what we're gonna do here first. We are actually currently at Charlotte. International Airport. We're over at the Military Cargo National, sorry, North Carolina Air National Guard ramp right now. Now, they don't have F-22s here. I don't believe in real life. It's mainly like a cargo ramp uh, with like these big old planes here, as you can see. Uh, but, you know, it's enough for me to kind of try to take off with it over here in Charlotte and fly around. Um, so, we're going to be doing some um, escort missions or intercept missions we're gonna see we're, we're gonna have some fun today i'm gonna try something different um i don't recommend you guys do what i'm gonna be doing in today's stream because you might get in trouble you might get kicked off of that sim. i don't know what's gonna happen today um but yeah i want to have some fun i want to have some fun matt Dallas, welcome to the stream crazy bus welcome to the stream jared a what's up my friend welcome to the stream good to see you uh Dan Decline, welcome to the stream as well. Riley Barlow, hello. Scaper, welcome back, my friend. Good to see you. Rand Ron My Pegaro, welcome to the stream. Josh Doing, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Leonardo Ventrini, what up? What up? What's up, my friend? David Isaac is in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Good to see every single one of you. Thank you so much for coming out for today's special uh, ops flight we'll call it that our f-22 raptor special ops flight as i said we are on vatsim call sign is raptor one if you go on vatsim right now you'll see i exist on there raptor one in the f-22a and uh we're gonna see what we can get into um so i'm, I'm kind of keeping my eyes on the vatsim map so basically um oh hello is that f-15 <laughs> what did i just do what did I, I think i just broke my camera I just break the camera. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think I was at F22. Hey, man, you don't have to just, you know, fly by. You can join me. <laughs> it's not one of those streams. Look at that. American taking off over there. We're using FSTL AI traffic. Uh, I'm actually using both FSTL and AIG at the same time. I know I said I didn't want to do that, and I still don't. Why is Ryan Aaron Charlotte? Um, but. You know, I, I I got FSTO, and I I didn't like uh, how I was missing so many 
liveries and I already have a bunch of liveries in AIG and I was like, all right, well, it's already taking up space on my hard drive. I might as well just put both of them in my community folder. Uh, I'll already walk to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, I should get the F-15 to try. I already, we've flown it a couple of times a while back and it's not one of my favorite um, jets. Like, I really don't want to fly it. I'm just going to be honest. It's, it's not my... That particular plane in Microsoft Flight Sim is a plane that I don't want to fly. I actually loaded up just yesterday to give it a chance. I loaded up a few fighter jets yesterday and I was like, let me see uh, what, you know, because I haven't really flown fighter jets in a long time. Microsoft Flight Sim, we got a Top Gun update. You know, a lot of things in the sim have updated uh, to allow for better fidelity fighter jets now in Microsoft Flight Sim. So, you know, let me go back through my hangar of uh, fighter jets and see what what's changed what, how are they looking what they sound like what do they fly like so i jumped in just really quickly just kind of looking at some things and i hopped in the uh obviously the f-22 the f-16 the f-18 uh the f-35 uh and i think that's all i have right now yeah I believe that's all i got all right let's get this thing turned on this thing's pretty cool it has like remove before flight stuff has a ladder on it um over here on the right we'll hit battery there we go yeah i wish uh Xbox could use that sim as well. That'd be pretty sweet. And then on the left, we'll hit the APU. And once you do that, it kind of automatically removes uh, the removal for a flight stuff. And uh, and then it just basically allows you to just get the aircraft started. So um, now, I don't actually know how to change the frequencies uh, in, the, in this plane. I've actually tried and it doesn't seem to to work. Like you, you can press the knobs and nothing happens. Okay, one thing I don't like is this highlight thing. We gotta, we gotta get rid of that. I do not like that highlight. That is not okay. Um, let me see. Let's see if we can fix that. It's in, uh, I think it's assistance options, right? Or is it general? Let's see, aircraft systems, volocopter. Why does it say volocopter? I'm not flying a volocopter. <laughs> what? Uh, points of interest off. Piloting off, off, off. Notifications all off. Navigation aids are all off. Failure and damage is to say what aircraft systems are off. Yeah, so that's that's not in there. Let's go to general then, and we'll try it. I don't think it's gonna be in here. Accessibility. Uh, we got menu tooltips, cockpit interaction system. Uh, main color menu animations. Get pre-flight cinematics is off. I think all that is what I usually do. So what happened was uh, before my stream today, and it just, I don't know, I have like the worst luck, seriously. Um, Microsoft decided to load up like with all my preferences reset. So I had to go back and reset all my preferences uh, before we went live today. It's maybe it's in camera. Focus mode, wide angle, free look, head up, height, instrument view mode, instrument view selection, I don't know. I don't know what the option is, so we'll just, uh, oh, flashlight mode? Nope. We'll just not worry about it. It's not a big deal. What up, James? Welcome to the stream. Dingo KS, you welcome to the stream as well. All right, so APU's on, battery's on. Let's get the engine started. We'll get the uh, Gen uh, 1 and 2, or left and right, turned on. We'll go to our left screen. This is our engine page. We'll go to control, and we can hit pump. Ignition, oh, hold on. Pump, that's our fuel pump. Ignition, start. Then we can go down here and switch to engine left engine hold the motor down for two seconds and you'll hear it firing up uh oh uh luck where support says you don't recommend i do intercepts on the network or i'll get into loads of trouble what if there's no atc i'm just one i'm just asking i'm just asking what if what if there's no atc Pretty dope though that you've been a part of Special Ops for 15 years on Batson. That's pretty cool. I didn't know there was any uh, action. I didn't know there was any um, active Special Ops groups on Batson anymore. But I, a while back, not too long ago, I was actually looking into that. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can get a part of some kind of group um, and like do like legit like missions on Batson. I think that'd be epic. Matter of fact, also before the stream. I was actually over at Nellis Air Force Base doing some testing on Vatsim to make sure this plane even worked on Vatsim. And um, I was, uh, he the guy told me that he was not controlling Nellis Air Force Base. This was LA Center. 
um, because Nellis Air Force Base right next to Vegas, and Vegas and Nellis share the Bravo in, in a weird way. So anyways, I was able to actually get clearance to take, do an unrestricted climb and go to a, um, a military operations area, which is pretty cool. And I was like hoping to do that in the stream. And as soon as my stream time came up, he went offline. So like, all right, well, can't do that now. <laughs> so I'm like, that's what I actually originally wanted to do. So now we're kind of just messing around. Uh, supervisor always watching, take it from you. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, uh, well, we'll still intercept, except we just won't intercept anybody. That sucks. That really sucks. I really want to intercept somebody. I wasn't going to do anything mean. I mean, I'm just going to pull up next to him and tell him to land. That's all. <laughs> That's, all. That's literally all I was going to do. How, how bad is that? Um, ATC just popped up over in Minneapolis area. I think he might go on over there and finding an Air Force base to take off from and seeing how much I can get away with on a bad sim. That's kind of what I want to do. Um, there are a few aircraft in the area besides me. There's Delta 6299 flying overhead to Washington, Dallas at 41,000. There's also a Spirit Airlines aircraft that is departing Charlotte for uh, Orlando. It's a pretty nice cockpit, I agree. So how about this? We'll start off, we'll intercept AI planes. Happy? <laughs> Happy? All right, let's get the second engine on. So pump, ignition, start. And we'll switch FADAC to the right engine and we'll hold down that for a couple seconds. <laughs> I like it. Do what you think you can get away with. I don't know, man. I want to intercept at least one person. We gotta intercept at least one for I want. I want to make contact with somebody. Not like it's not like I can shoot them down. There's literally nothing I can do to them. Like there's nothing I can actually do to them on Vatim. I don't. They you know weapons are not hot. I ain't got no missiles. Sadly, no. You cannot fire missiles. Uh, there are some planes and some mods that have missile animations in the mod, but Microsoft does not directly support. Matter of fact, what I from what I've heard. If you want to sell a, a fighter jet or aircraft on the marketplace, you can't have weapons um, that actually fire. You can have missiles like modeled on the plane, but you can't actually fire them. From what I understand, I think it's part against like the terms or something like that. Okay, so let's get our frequency over to the Unicom. At two two point eight, walking twelve hundred. You see right here, we're on 22.8. We're squawking 1200. Uh, most of this stuff doesn't work. The tag can doesn't work, I'm pretty sure. ILS says off. I don't know how to change that. Uh, so I don't actually know how to, to change the frequency or transponder code from within the aircraft. I'm using my radio panel that lets me do it in the system um, and kind of tricks. It's like my workaround. So if you have like a radio panel, like a physical one like I do, you can actually make the change. But I have not found a way or anywhere inside the aircraft that allows you to actually switch these. Like even like this knob here does nothing. This knob is just for show. Uh, on the other side, these knobs do nothing. Like which is really disappointing. Like why? I, I get that most people who fly this plane are not going to necessarily be trying to fly it realistically or fly it with comms or on the radio. But like, what if you did? I think that they need to think about this and actually make these do something and so again I got to work around so I got to work um, and it does connect to uh, to VATSIM which is good but if you don't have a radio panel or some other exterior way to change your radios you're not gonna be able to get this thing tuned into any frequency uh, you can I believe you can change the barrel over here though on this side I think with this right here or you can just press B and that'll sync it this is what I just done but oh, we're good to go uh, we'll go outside we see that Oh, why is that open? What is that thing? What is that? Is that my fuel? Uh, okay, sound is broke. Oh, I think I'm inside, that's why. Yeah, so probably close that. What did I press? What did I press to open that? It might be this, actually. Nope. 
this thing? Oh. It was in the front. It might be one of these guys. Close, close. But like, if I click on this here, it'll open up the, uh, the fuel... Air to air fueling ho hole. Really cool. So I don't know how to close that thing. That's my... Oh, it's my APU! Let's see. Oh yeah, cool. I actually, I've never been outside to see the APU turn off, so I didn't know that came on. All right, engines are on. We're both fired up. Jet looks great. You can see the nice fall-colored trees in the background. Let's go ahead and release our brakes and get on out of here. And we'll see what we can get into. Uh, track IR stopped working. Not check this. There we go. All right, brakes release. Yeah, you can tell how much I know about about F-22s. So we'll close our canopy. Sweet. Sound does not change, sadly, when we do that. Right, I guess we'll go this way. All right. Oh, Lima Charlie. Oh, that's a hill. You can you you can change your frequency using the panel under the HUD with the number pad. Let's see. We'll try that. See if it works. Nope. Does nothing. <laughs> see this? I, I tried that. I, like these buttons do literally nothing. I'm clicking on them and it's doing nothing. Unless I'm supposed to click on something else. Yeah, it's still doing nothing. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but it doesn't work. Alright, make my chart so I can find out how to get out of here. Um, I really want to intercept somebody. <laughs> you guys can see my gears turn in my head like we should just do it. Like, screw it. Like, come on. Uh, let's see. We are at KCLT. We'll start with the AI. I want to see if we can even intercept the AI. Uh, we're not at BNA. We're at CLT right now. We were originally going to be at BNA uh, when ATC was on, and then they logged off. So now we're at Charlotte because there's no ATC anywhere, so it doesn't even matter where we are. Uh, we'll use runway one. Uh, looks like they're using three six, so we'll use three six. Make a left turn right here. You might have to. I mean, I'm I'm sure. I think they're. There is a tutorial that exists on YouTube already, but hey, there's nothing stopping you from making one for yourself if you know a lot about the plane. Matter of fact, I recommend you do. Um, I actually use a tutorial to learn how to do what I'm doing now. <laughs> so, oh hey, is that an F-35? Sweet. All right, follow me. We gotta intercept some some people that are breaking the law, flying through TFRs. That's a good looking F-35. Good looking F-35. So this is a uh, uh, FS Dream Teams. Charlotte Douglas. And is there a real person in a hot air balloon? Like, is that legit a person in a hot air balloon? Like the high performance group? Or is that a part of the scenery? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is that a person in a hot air balloon on multiplayer? Or is that just a part of the scenery because that's amazing either way i'm so happy to see a hot air balloon <laughs> in my sim that's so cool yeah lucky i mean uh if luck were a sport it'd be great to have you with this man but it's all good i understand a lot of you guys are working make sure i don't go too far here uh no we got a long way to go we're on delta uh i guess let's make a radio call um charlotte douglas traffic raptor one is taxing the runway 36 right via delta charlotte do I collect model airplanes? I do not. Um, but I do like them. Escapers in F-16? Sweet! Uh, I'm sure, you're Jared, your, your uh, internet could handle it. Or maybe you can't, I don't know. 
<laughs> you know better than I do. You know better than I do, bro. What do you guys think of the fall colors? Um, using Rex Accu Seasons. Now, this this uh, mod that I have for Seasons for Microsoft Flight Sim never has really impressed me. Uh, but now that it's finally fall, we can actually see you know, a difference in Seasons. It's kind of like, huh, this is kind of cool, actually. Uh, so if you don't know what Rex Accu Seasons is, uh, Microsoft Flight Sim by default does not change the tree colors um, for Seasons. It's not something that Microsoft does by default, which is surprising, but it doesn't. Um, let me turn track error back on. And so Rex has made a mod that will basically um, load up and replace all your trees for the whole world. Alright, 35 is behind us. Um, let's first find out who's breaking the temporary flight restriction. I guess just to look around because everybody's taking off. We'll just go up and uh, and patrol. All right, land lights on. That's other way. There we go. Charlotte Douglas traffic Raptor one flight of two taking off from way three six right. Is that Vatsim model? Or is that in my Microsoft? Either way, that looks amazing. <laughs> oh! Up! Oh. Up! Oh. Scramble the jets! Scramble the jets! Charlotte's on the ground stop. Charlotte is on the ground stop. Why is there so many planes taking off at once? All right, we're rolling. Bowser Raker up. All right, this guy needs to know that he was not allowed to take off. He did not get clearance. He did not get clearance. American, huh? You call yourself an American? A320? <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Can you freaking imagine? You're in a freaking window seat and you see an F22 roll up next to you. Oh my god, I would freak out. I would freak out. Alright, what's his tail number? That's uh, November. 1020 uniform whiskey. Uh oh, come on. Kinda actually kinda hard to wait, I wonder if I get way turbulent off of him. Uh no not really. Alright, this is some great practice. Copy, copy. We might have to do that later on, is do a little bit of dogfight between me and the 35. <laughs> yeah, true. There's a suspected hijacker on board. Honestly, I don't know that I wouldn't pull up to the window in a 22. Not sure. I'm not sure what their procedure is for that. I just feel like if a a terrorist saw a fighter jet at the window, they would probably just go ahead and do whatever it is they want to do because they know they lost. American 2 Uniform Whiskey Contact Raptor 1 on guard. This is hard. <laughs> Maintaining speed is hard. This thing has so much power. I don't think it's a real person. Is this a real person? Pretty sure it's not a real person. 
Can somebody check on Vetsim if this is a real person? I can't look over right now. Oh, he's turning. You're not gonna get away from us. Oh, look, Charlotte Mona Speedway. Copy. <laughs> He is trying to get a, that is look at that. There is Charlotte Motor Speedway down below us. And the drag strip. Man, I'm doing three hundred sixty now. Too fast. You see how fast the thing kicks up? Alright, so he's doing like, let's see if we can match his speed here. Doing about 400. Why is he so low? Uh, American, two uniform whiskey. We need you to turn back around and land at Charlotte. This is epic right here. I need a screenshot of this. I can't take it though because I'm flying. <laughs> I'm still trying to find out why he's flying so low. About 4,000 feet. He should be climbing out of here if he's leaving. I love these trees. Alright, switch to the left wing. What up, Yusuf? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. Oh, stutter. Big stutter. Wait, is he landing? His landing lights are still on. Where are you going? Where could you possibly be landing? Alright, well he's agreed I think, because he stayed low. I think he's going to try to land near his airport. We're going to break off of him. Ooh! That was close. And find another one. Jet don't look too bad. I don't know what the other F thirty five call sign is. That's pretty cool. The speed brakes are the the uh, that right there. Kind of cool. All right, head back to Charlotte, or at least the Charlotte area, and see if we can see anybody else violating our ground stop policy that is on Charlotte currently. For uh, where is Charlotte? Actually, I have traffic, um, 1500 at our 2 o'clock? Is that above or below? Yeah, that's traffic low, 1500, 11 o'clock.
Might be VFR traffic. Alright, less than five miles away. So far, no joy. Alright, we're right behind him. Alright, we're at 2,000. Literally right in front of us. And we passed him again. <laughs> he might be invisible. I've seen that happen sometimes on VATSIM. If I don't have the correct model, sometimes it doesn't show up at all. Yeah, I think we still have the F-35 behind us. Uh, if I want to go direct to Charlotte, I might have to just go in uh, is it this screen. And direct to, nope, back. Direct to uh, Waypoint. Or I could just zoom this one out. Range out. Range out. Range out. Honestly, I'd be surprised if this isn't on Xbox. It might be. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Uh, a lot. Of, there's a lot of fighter jets that are available on Xbox if you want to get one for Microsoft Flight Sim. How far do we fly, man? By the way, tomorrow we are going to be on DCS. Oh, I found it. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be on DCS World again. So if you have DCS World and want to join us, Come through same time as today, except it will be weapons hot. We will have weapons and missiles and bombs and all the all the explosions. And I'll probably die a few times myself. Mustafa, what's up? Welcome to the stream. You know, Scaper, this is what we need to do, man. We need to do some flying. Hold up, Scaper, that, that's you. Are you on Vetsim too somehow? Escaper, you copy? Because if he is, we might go on our own channel. I'm not sure. I heard somebody talking. I'm not sure who that was. Copy. Let's move over to uh, frequency one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so, radio check, one, two, three, four, five. See if it gets on that. One thing I do like about the way that VATSIM's radios work is you can actually go and jump on any frequency you want and uh, and just communicate kind of like on a uh, like an air-to-air -air frequency in a way. That's what we're trying to do. Raptor 1, frequency 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, gotcha. Uh, so where you at, man? Uh, I saw you fly around, but then I lost you. Alright, cool. Well, now that we can communicate, um, do you want to do some formation fly? Uh, let's have you take the lead, and then I'll follow you. Let's go to uh, 10,000. So you go ahead of me, we'll go up to 10,000, and then I'll uh, come up on your wing. Well, hold on, come in front of me first so I can see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't hear him? Let me turn onto the, onto the stream. There we go. Alright, once I see him, I'll follow him. Uh, we're still flying t back towards Charlotte. We should see the airport that we took off from. I don't know if No Gear is here. His friend is back. Yeah, I don't see you. I'm off about your two to three o'clock. In front of me. Uh, high or low? 
Uh, probably about four or five or above. Like four or five thousand feet? No, nah, four hundred. Okay. <laughs> Don't see him. Searching, searching. I guess I gotta go outside of you and cheat. Hey Blue, just to let you know, uh, I might not be talking, but I'll be flying because I'm on the zoom right now. Copy. I'm just trying to find you. I don't see him. Oh look, there's a Microsoft version of Downtown Charlotte. Oh, we're over flying Charlotte right now. Yep. I don't see this dude. He disappeared. Yeah, I can't see you at all. Uh, you? It seems like you're heading northbound now at this point. I'll uh, come over here. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I'm turning towards Charlotte now. Uh, international. Yeah, I don't have... Oh, there it is. Is that the airport right there? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't have my name tags turned on, so it's a bit difficult to see people. It looks to be a... Oh, Possibly a stadium and a baseball field there in Charlotte. I'm at 6,000. I see lots of traffic on the ground at Charlotte. This is the hardest part. Whenever you lose sight of people, it's really hard to find them. Same in DCS world. Very hard to find people once you lose sight of them. Speed is pretty slow, 240 knots. I'm gonna roll over. Yeah, pop flares. <laughs> I don't think we can do that in Microsoft. There's Charlotte. kind of trippy looking up at it. We're about four nautical miles to the west of the Charlotte VOR. I'm heading at 270 indicating 8.8. Copy. No idea how many miles in from the VOR. Wait, is that him right there? 8.8. .8. That's the 8.5. Is it five miles? That's him. That's gotta be him. At 8,000. Uh, is thrust vectoring better on this one than the Redoke 3D F-22? Uh, honestly, everything is better on every plane than the Redoke in 3D. Um, his... He does not... He... That, he <laughs> That developer does not have a good representation, well, reputation of having good aircraft, so. You know, we're gonna try that actually in today's stream. We're gonna try some of the uh, aerobatic moves that the F-22 is known for. Uh, one thing that's really cool uh, is the uh, the manual or the user guide for this plane uh, actually tries to teach you how to do some of those maneuvers, so I would actually- I got you, Blue. Uh, we're running up to 10,000 now. Copy. But you're supposed to be able to do some of those famous uh, F-22 Raptor maneuvers, or at least a version of it. So I'll give it a try. I haven't ever tried it before, but definitely down to give it a try. Yeah, Raptor 1 is at uh, Angels 12, which means flight level 12. What was that? Raptor 1 is at Angels 12. 12,000 feet. 
Yeah, we got that. Let's go inside. Like one thing for me about this particular jet in Microsoft Flight Sim is that it doesn't look like paper. One of my biggest issues with a lot of the fighter jets in Microsoft Flight Sim is they look like paper. Like something to do with their texturing and the PBR and the way they did it, it just looks like paper. And it's weird. Uh, he said he's not going to be talking much because he's on a Zoom call. I love it. Check our fuel. Ah, right, we're good. Uh, which airport am I landing? I don't know. Maybe Charlotte again. Uh, we're flying away from it, but we might go back. I gotta find out what his call sign is. Hey, what's your call sign? What was that? What is your call sign? Oh, we're Ghost 7. What 7? Uh, Ghost. Go. I like it. Uh, you, you got me? Yeah, we did. Okay, we're right behind you now. If I don't find you, I'm gonna just, we're just gonna have to go back and land at Charlotte and regroup there. <laughs> Am I gonna do a flight in Brussels on VATSIM? Not today, but uh, I need to actually. Uh, that's, that's been on my list of places to fly to or out of. Uh, I have the Brussels mega scenery and I need to give it a try. Um, I've heard great things about it. I've actually seen good videos. Oh, some mountains over there. I've seen some videos about it, but I haven't actually given it a try myself. Hopefully, it's not too bad on my FPS. Alright, we're going to turn left, heading back to Charlotte. Let's see if we can see him in the turn. He was right behind me. Oh, I see him. Like, barely. He's like a speck. On my screen, he is so tiny. I'm, I, I guarantee you guys can't see that speck behind us. I lost him already. I saw him for just a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna regroup. Yeah, let's head back to Charlotte. We'll land on Charlotte on the same run where we took off on, and we can regroup there. It'd be much easier to do that. Oh, big freeze. So I'm gonna go. Full burner and switching back over to Unicom. Uh, Unicom 22.8. Faster than the speed of sound. We're doing Mach 1.47. We shouldn't be able to hear anything. Raptor 1, you copy for Go 7? Raptor 1. Roger, we just 
Alright, we're about five miles away from Charlotte now. And yeah, I'm gonna do an overhead brake. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. <laughs> Oh, I heard it for a second. You wanna overfly Charlotte? Do a little fly by? Yes. Okay, okay. Alright, we're Pulling in so many G's right now. Alright, we're bingo as well. Raptor 1 is bingo. What was that? Raptor 1 is bingo. Alright, airport should be on our left. Uh, oh, we are very low on fuel. We're emergency fuel. We're not just bingo. We're freaking emergency fuel. Uh, cancel overhead brake going in for landing. Around, I was in burner for too long. Bro, we went through that fuel fast. All right, I've never landed this plane before, so let's see how it goes. I right, let's zoom in so we can see anything. Oh, it's over there. Charlotte traffic, Raptor 1, left base from way 3 4 right. Full we'll stop. Alright, you're down. Lights. I do like all the fall colors, that's pretty cool. Yeah, hopefully we have enough fuel to make, I think we do. Uh, there should be a runway to the right of the tower. Are there flaps in this thing? Three six right, three four right. Three six right. Charlotte traffic. Charlotte traffic. Raptor one. Short final. Three six right. Charlotte. Charlotte traffic. Good time. Short final. Uh, right. Charlotte. This thing loses speed fast, man. You know what, Charlotte International might just be our victim of our air show today. <laughs> right, let's see how the landing is in this thing. Right, so our velocity vector is kind of uh, jiggling around, which is a bit not helpful. We'll just be visual. We have a cross lane, looks like. Charlotte traffic got some in, clear the atmosphere. Hold the nose up. Hold the nose, hold it, hold it, hold it. And down. Oh, I didn't make that exit. Made that one. Speeds. Alright, I got there. I finally see him now. <laughs> I don't think I even saw nice him. Landing there, Blue. Pass us. Appreciate it. Dollar traffic, Raptor 1 now clear of all runways on Delta. Uh, is he going to the ramp? Let's head back to the other end of 36, right? And then uh, we'll regroup and refuel and see if we can take off in formation and actually stay together. Matter of fact, I'll have 
I'll have him lead the formation so he can see. And if, uh, I don't really have anywhere in particular I want to go. I did see there were some mountains to the, uh, what look like to be the north of us. You going back to the end of the runway? Yes. Uh, that's, I thought you were going back to the ramp. That's uh, a cat flight. ATR over there. Cessna Caravan. I think that those are all FSTLTTL traffic, I believe, over there. American 320, probably on the ramp for maintenance or something. Got UPS and DHL over there in the cargo ramp on the right. And we were taxiing pretty, pretty fast. Southwest taxiing. It's okay. We're in a fighter jet. Am I leaking fuel? Is that what that is? <laughs> It's more fuel, we'll try it again. Silas Peterson, welcome to the stream, good to see you, hope you're doing well. Welcome aboard. I still wanna, I, I still really wanna intercept somebody. <laughs> I really, really wanna intercept somebody. What up G, what up Airbus, good to see you man. Welcome aboard. All right, Charlotte traffic. Raptor one holding short runway three six right at Delta. All right, we're not going anywhere. We're just gonna let them know we're there. Brakes are set, light off. And Charlotte speed. traffic go seven shorter three six right at Delta. Charlotte. Fuel alone. Max fuel. All right, we're all fueled up. Even our tanks are. We'll grab some payload as well. And good to go there. Alright, that was, you know, I'm used to DCS, when you want to actually land and refuel, it takes like 10 minutes. Oh, look at that view, that's, that's beautiful. That is freaking beautiful. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, um... All right, so listen, Skaper, this is what we're gonna do. You, do. you wanna do a formation takeoff to the um, west? Yeah, let's discuss on uh, on air-to-air -air frequency. Well, it's not sorry. One, two, three, four, five. I don't wanna cloud up the Unicom, uh, Unicom comms with us discussing our Take off plans. Okay, we're back over here now. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I do want to do a um, what's it called a formation takeoff. Uh, you will be flight lead, um, and we can just uh, stay fairly low level. Um, maybe stay like ceiling at five thousand, and I believe there's some mountains to the north. Uh, west of us I think and you can just kind of head out that way if you want or we could head over to I think it's uh Charleston I mean we can go over to Charleston because they have an airport base over there yeah yeah they do so let's just head to Charleston we'll just do a flight we'll do a formation flight to Charleston so if you want to like plug that into your GPS and then I'll just follow you okay I'll do that so yeah ceiling 5000 uh you'll be flight lead uh like moderate speed not too fast and I'll do my best to stay on your wing, and I'll probably do some uh, some uh, speed checks along the way. So we'll take off on Unicom once we get airborne. Uh, we'll go wheels up, and then we'll switch over to air to air, which is this frequency we're on now, and we can discuss as we continue. Okay, we got all that. What's the All right, back over to Unicom. All right, back on 2.2.8. Ethan, where did I get this mod? Link is in the description if you want to try it out for yourself um, or check it out for yourself. But you can actually get this aircraft on the marketplace. I forgot about that. So this aircraft is on the marketplace. I'm not sure if it's available on Xbox or not, but it is on the marketplace. That part I do know. Um, or you can get it from, I think, maybe Sim Market, possibly. I can't remember. I don't know where I got it from. Oh, no, Just Flight. 
Just Flight is the other uh, distributor of the Top Mach Studios F22. There is also a freeware version by the same developer. So Top Mach Studio Studios has the freeware F22 that's completely free on Flight MTO for PC users. But then there's also now the premium version, which we're flying today um, by Top Mach Studios that is available on the marketplace. So check it out if you want to give it a try. If you love F22, so far, like I just said earlier in the stream, I'm liking it. That landing was actually pretty smooth. A lot of times when you fly fighter jets in these regular civil aviation flight simulators, they're really twitchy. It didn't feel twitchy on landing or on takeoff, which is very impressive. Um, all right, you ready? Uh, we're plugging in our uh, frequency real quick, and then we'll be ready. Okay. No, let's see if I can put it in my cell. What is the what is the airport identifier for Charleston, which is not far from here? I think it's CHA, right? That's Chattanooga. Where's Charleston? Uh, Alabama? Uh, Mississippi? Wait, how far is that? We might have to go higher. <laughs> what is Charleston's airport code? Shoot. Oh, snap. Airbus, thank you so much for the 2,000 bits and a sub, bro. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for that support. Seriously, thank you. I didn't even... I'm sorry I missed it. I really apologize for that, man. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it, man. That means a lot. Thank you for what you do, man. Um, Charleston. What is a Charleston... Charl, Charleston? South Carolina. That's where it is. Airport code is CHS. I can find that. Oh, that might be farther than I thought. KCHS. Oh, that's, oh well. Okay, no, 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 no. Abort. <laughs> Abort. I. <laughs> Abort. Well, I mean, we could, we could do that. Ah, uh, that's, that's 300 miles um, to the coast. We could try it. Okay, we're ready. I guess we're doing it. <laughs> I guess we're doing it. Um, yeah, stand by. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in my in my thing too. Uh, I think click here. Flight plan. Is this another aircraft flying with us across the runway? Uh, Kilo. Where we at? Kilo. Charlie Lima Tango. Where we are and want to go to Hilo Charlie Hotel Sierra. Enter. Juliet, right. Bravo, you flying with us? What is that? Oh, there's two planes over there. It's F 18. You thought this was DCS? Man, no, it's not. It's not. Alright, I'm ready. All right. Two's ready on you. Charlotte traffic. Raptor one, flight of three is taking the runway three six right for North departure. Take the right side of the runway. Or I'll take the left. I'm blind. Uh oh. Oh, look at that burner. I wonder if I'm gonna get wake off of this guy. That's gonna suck if I, I do. I think that other guy disconnected. I'm not sure. You're good on you. Oh, now it's showing a 7-3 for me, that one guy. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, hey, he he's ready to depart. Yep, ready. Charlotte, traffic, go 7, fly to 2, departing to the north, Charlotte. Alright, 
35 is a bit slower than us, so we can't go full burner. We'll go mill power, keep them in, uh, in, oh, keep them in uh, invisible range. I can barely see him already because he blends in with the ground. And he's up. And we're up. You're up. Oh, he's kicking it, though, man. He's going. What is he? What is he? I think he's it. Oh, wait. He's in the F-16. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he's an F-16. I think my model matching changed him to F-35. But he's actually an F-16. I'm gonna go over to air to air now. Over to air to air. Call the traffic. Uh, Raptor 1, Fighter 3 is now airborne. Last call to the north. Oh, on the brakes hard. On the brakes hard. On the brakes hard. Okay, I guess Evan, we're just going to be staying on heading a 360 for a couple miles. Um, we don't have a full FMT because this is a pretty crappy plane, but um, we're just going to track the VOR. So I'm not sure what you have in yours, but we're going to be tracking the VOR from here. Copy. Uh, just to confirm, are we going to Charleston or Chattanooga? Charleston. Copy. So I did put the uh, GPS into my aircraft for Charleston. And it is, I guess, it's showing to go, like, directly the other direction. Yeah, I'm going to make a turn probably heading, let's see, about zero one zero. Copy. All right, I'm on your right. Copy, we got you. Speed check. Uh, passing 5.0. And you said you're in an F-16? That's affirmative. Okay. Yeah, my model matching changed you to, to an F-35, which I can't complain about. At least it's something. Yeah, that guy that was in the 737, for me, was a 35 at first, and then he came back as an 830. Yeah, I don't know what happened with him. Uh, is he flying with us? Uh, probably. I haven't heard anything, though. He'll catch up, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, he's on the bus. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's a bit laggy now for him. Uh, don't lose him. Oh boy, he just dropped like a rock. Alright, once we get out of this turn, um, since uh, it's actually about 300 miles over to Charleston, let's go up a bit higher, like maybe like 28,000. Okay, that's good. Yeah, throttle management is honestly pretty tough in this. Oh, look at that massive pole! Oh my god. Yeah, this is why you gotta watch out for those VFR sectional charts, because you get smashed in one of those things. I can barely see it, it blended in with all the fall trees. Okay, we're flying heading along with here. We're going to climb up to 280. Copy. What up, Peter Pito? Welcome to the stream, man. Um, yeah, I've heard some things about that new G550 coming to, I think, X-Plane? Am I correct about that? Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, when it comes out, when it releases, I'll look at the screenshots and if they post a trailer and, and see. Um, the screenshots that I saw in the past of the G550, the Gulfstream uh, for X-Plane... I wasn't impressed, so we'll have to see if uh, if they made any made it any better. Because yeah, I mean yes, I do want a golf stream, but I'm not gonna fly, a, you know, a basic golf stream if it's not good. We're probably gonna fly heading to one eight zero now because we're pretty far to the east. We probably go south and we'll end up in Charleston. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, it's a bit tricky because he's jittery for me. Ah, he's turning right. The hardest part is is keeping him in view. I haven't got to get close yet, but if I can just keep him in view, 
speed check. Oh, we have 400 of that. Right now we're at 4 CJ, we're going up to 450 very slow though. Copy. So this morning, uh, before the stream started, I was um, just kind of looking around Flight Radar 24. Uh, I was like, I wonder what kind of like real world jet activity is going on around the United States. Because you can actually see the, the, the jets, like fighter jets, on Flight Radar 24. I was like, I wonder what they're doing. Um, and so I just looked around, and you can actually see the icon. It's like a very distinct icon for anybody flying like a fighter jet style aircraft. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning though, so not a whole lot of activity, but I did see a couple, um, like a, a bunch of trainer jets, I think over in Texas, uh, just taking off, like 10 of them. And I saw some more trainer jets off uh, to the east of Norfolk. Oh, this is beautiful right here. This is gorgeous. And I saw some more uh, coming out of, uh, I think it was, where was it at? Uh, like Pensacola area. It was pretty cool. Yeah, very nice flight so far, Sky. Handsome Huey, welcome to the stream and welcome aboard. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I don't know why, but you're a little jittery for me. Um, but it, it may be me. Am I the same for you? Uh, what was that? I say your aircraft is a little jittery for me. Am I the same for you? Uh, negative. You're just behind my right wing. It's pretty stable. Alright. Dylan, what is up, my friend? You just got hired to be a ramp agent at Providence um, with Delta. That's pretty cool, man. That is amazing. Uh, I, I think did not work. I can't go to four five zero now. Gabby, uh, I think I went to Providence once. I can't remember. I feel like I did. Yeah, I did. Pretty confident that I um, I worked the Providence ramp for a week. Um, my company sent me out there for. A week to help out because they were short staff so i'm really glad that you're out there hopefully um hopefully you enjoy it hopefully you enjoy it it's pretty chill over in providence honestly it's, it gets pretty cold uh, just be prepared at this time of year uh, or going into the winter uh, it will get cold but i mean if you already live out there in providence you're probably used to it anyway so um but yeah it's a pretty cool job and uh i like that was uh if i just you're talking about those were some t38s uh that were out in texas earlier yeah, that's what it was, T-38s, like a bunch of them all doing a bunch of training missions in Texas. Yeah, I might be doing that on that time, but the T-38 for X-Plane is terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of what I wanted to do, um, or what I want to do, is go out on VATSIM and try to do some realistic training missions with ATC. That's what I want to do today, but obviously, you know, it's a bit too early for ATC to be on and most of the United States right now. Yeah, that that'll be a fun stream though. Like I almost did it. I, I did I kinda did it in um in Las Vegas before the stream started, but LA Center went off uh right before my stream started. And then the same thing happened with Memphis Center went off right before the stream started as well. So I was like, dang it <laughs> I was also doing research trying to find if I could find any areas. Uh, that I could find that actually do normal training ops, like military operation areas, things like that. And I was having trouble finding anything. At least not in this particular area, because there's a lot of, um, if you look really closely and if you know what you're looking for, you can find, at least in the United States, I don't know how to find these in other countries, but United States, they're all posted and listed. You can find low level training routes. Um, they're all over the United States where basically this is a route that's specified that the you know military can use to fly low level without any restrictions for the most part kind of like what we did a while back in the f-15 when we flew no actually no we did it twice we did it in the f-15 and we did it in the f-18 we flew around the range come up on the Chesterfield VOR we're probably gonna fly heading of 185 so we can go direct down to the Charleston Vortex Copy. Uh, we flew around Rainbow Canyon, aka Star Wars Canyon. That's actually one of uh, a good I'll example of an area. Right of, oh, snap! It's turning. A uh, good example of a, a area like that. I wonder why I'm getting that. Uh, it's annoying. Why is it so 
jittery like that. <laughs> it's hurting my eyes. Gonna stay farther away. I can't see anything. Yeah, the, the one of the difficult parts when it comes to getting into to working on the uh, ramp at an airport, at least in the United States, and specifically with Delta, um, I did do the Delta training. Even though I actually I technically worked for Delta, um, the training is is kind of overwhelming, and it's not even physical training. It's just like the computer training stuff. It's kind of overwhelming. So. It's, uh, but yeah, once you get through it, you know, you only have to do it like once a year. After that, you just go out on the ramp, you work the ramp, and you do your thing. Do your thing. Mashi, you would be the one to come in and ask me to do a barrel roll. You would be. You would be. I kind of wish I did see him in the F-16, but I don't know. I guess either, I wonder what model it's using. Like, I really don't understand. Let me ask him. Scraper, uh, go one. Uh, what was that? Now I want to ask you a question. What is your, what did you put in VATSIM for your IKO for your plane, for your type code? Uh, I did F-16 and it came up with the Fine Falcon. Okay. I'm just checking. I was trying to figure out why you're showing it was F-35. Because I do have an F-16 installed as a model. Um, but I'm wondering if like my model matching is just confused. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, because last night uh, we were doing a stream with a couple other guys. And um, for some reason it was... Showing up when there was one other guy and it showed up for me. I don't know what's on with yours. What uh, model matching you have? What what? Oh, I have uh, FSTL TTL and also you have AIG. Oh, that might be why. Cause I just, I do Bluebell. That's all, and so I think it's working for me. That's why. Gotcha. Razor Gamer, we're gonna be level one at D six out here. I forgot about two eight zero. Is the other guy, is he on air-to-air -air as well, or is he only on... I see him, but I'm wondering if he's on the air-to-air -air frequency. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, shoot, I lost him. All right, here's your barrel roll. And, uh, oh, okay, there we go. That Contra helps a lot, actually. <laughs> Hey, do me, do me a favor. I want to see if this works. Do... Hold on. I lost him again. <laughs> Dang it. Where'd he go? Is he above me? Oh my god. He's behind me. He's right behind me. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's way over there. Go, 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 go. Man, it does not take long to, like, just freaking go a mile away uh, how much is the F-22A? I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, it does not have working rockets you know one of these days we are going to have to give the F-22 on DCS world a try the F-22 mod um, I have it I think but I've never actually tried it so I'm about to give that a try. So I'm actually kind of. I think there might be a carrier out near Charleston that we could try to land on. Uh, F-22 doesn't land on carriers. <laughs> Neither does F-16. Next video better be a landing challenge then. But I don't think I have the mod that puts the carrier over there. Yeah, I heard that one was pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Speed brakes. Not bad. Speed check. 
Uh, 3-2-2. Yeah, a little bit fast. This is difficult, man. <laughs> this is difficult. I don't want to lose him again. There you go. There's also an F... Whoever is that in the F-18 behind us, I know you're not on, on comm, but thanks for flying with us. It's good to see you. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with your model matching is either. When he first spawned in, he was an F-35, but now he's an A-330. But I know he's an F-18, because um, I see his Microsoft model as well. I think one way we could probably do it... Um, I don't know. What do I show up for as you? Like, what do you see me as? Uh, you're showing up as a CRJ for me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's horrible. CRJ seems legit. Alright, we're about 60 miles out from Charleston. Yeah, I see that. Probably gonna start our descent down soon. I mean, I you're pretty far, but yeah. One thing we need, I think, more of in Microsoft Flight Sim and in X Plane and Flight Sims in general is more Air Force bases. Like Air Force Base uh, freeware and payware. Because that is like really needed, honestly. Yeah, right now all I have is Nellis. Um, what's the one over in San Diego? Oh! Dang, what's it called? The one by Latin VFR. Both of them are by Latin VFR, actually. Alright, uh, Typing Square wants the external view. I'll try to give it to you as we now lag. Was it, uh, Miramar? Big lag. What is going on? What is loading in? Sheesh. That is bad. Yeah, Miramar. That's the one. Miramar. So I have, I have, uh, Nellis and Miramar. And I think those are the only two Payware ones that I have. I think that's the only two that exist. Yeah, really, any river stuff that's like Air Force Base, really, I don't think it's really that good, honestly, because they're just like, I want to get it done with, just rush it through, and they're like, oh, here it is. Also with the F-22, there is both a fly-by-wire version and a non-fly-by-wire version. What that means is, like, basically right now, I'm not on autopilot. I was able to kind of level the plane off without using any trim, without, you know, having to fight it to keep it level. Um, basically just means it's gonna, it kind of flies on its own, in a way. Without the fly-by-wire, I don't have any assist in the aircraft. It's kind of like driving with, with uh, anti-lock brakes versus no anti-light brakes, you know what I mean? It's kind of that kind of idea. You know, I was a little bit worried, but you know, since we're in these fast jets, this flight is not that long. I'm having so much trouble staying in formation with you. I see you moving all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I keep losing you, too. <laughs> I'm just on autopilot chilling here. There he is. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for your Contro, I would have lost you, like, uh, 300 miles ago. Oh, Pilot yeah, Stud! Sure. What up, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. Do you have auto auto on yours? I don't know. I'm just on the auto throttle right now. I mean, I'm sure there is an auto throttle, but I don't know enough of this plane yet. This is just day one. Uh, well, Mashi, it actually works the other way about around. About 25 lead, miles till Charleston. Probably start descent rather fairly soon. The lead jet will announce his speed, and it's up to me to match that, not the other way around. So. Um, 
What is your speed set skill? Speed check. Uh, we're 322. Yeah, it's just not as easy as it sounds to do 322. Oh boy. Yeah, it'll, I'll be. I'll do better tomorrow when we're playing DCS World. Trust me. And I think we got the airport inside. I did double check make sure that's the right one. Yeah, I don't see it. There's a bunch of clouds down there. All right, well, I'm following you, on you. Got plenty of fuel. All right, well, I'll get you there. All right, so we're doing 322. We'll try to do, I get as close to it as I can, uh, working with the throttle. Okay, yeah, I got in sight. It's like almost about 11 to 12 o'clock in front of us. Uh, there is autopilot here. It says AP. Yeah, I guess there's an AP master and auto throttle. Actually, there's auto throttle right there. I'm gonna go down to um, probably seven thousand, six thousand now. Oh my god! I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Actually, you can see the fingernail moon up above us right now. Yeah, Dylan, that sounds great. The more people we get on DCS, the better. Seriously. The more, the better. Oh, I see an F-35 now on my right. It finally changed the model matching to not an A330. That's great. All right, we got to keep our eyes on him while we're descending, or else we will lose sight of him, uh, especially as we descend to lower altitudes and stop contrailing. So I got to keep my feel my game here as we are approaching Charleston Air Force Base. I think it's just Charleston International, but it's also an Air Force Base. Uh-oh. 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 I got a beep beep. <laughs> I got a beep beep. Who's beep beeping me? Oh, okay. It's just him. What was that? Oh, never mind. It was just you. Oh, yeah. Scared me. I thought ATC hopped on. I was like, oh, snap. This is where it gets fun. That would have been bad. I would have been excited. As a matter of fact, I was excited. Now I'm disappointed it's just you. No, I was kidding. Yeah. Uh, the Air Force probably about, um, what's it? Right underneath us. <laughs> Seven, eight o'clock behind us. So, probably gonna do a very fast descent now and get on the um, final. Alright, just uh, basically go idle if you can so I can keep up with you. And then let's shoot to uh, to do our overhead break together, the three of us. So just keep it nice and slow so we can stay together. Okay, I'm at 370 now. I'm trying to. All right, just let me know what you do with the throttle. So when you go idle, let me know, or if you pull down, just give me a heads up. I'm idling and using speed brakes, trying to maintain 370. Got me. All right, so David Bukashi, that's him, and the other F18, which is sweet. Thanks for flying us, man. Uh, Bukachi, if you want, man, hop on frequency one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's what we're communicating on right now, if you didn't already know. Uh, if you can't talk, that's fine, but you can at least listen to us uh, discussing in real time. There is a coast right there of South Carolina. What is this guy doing? I don't know, I can't see anything. I'm just watching you. He's like right above me, about probably 6,000, 7,000 feet above me. It's good, he'll keep up. Ah, I lost him again. Dang it. Where'd he go? I lost you. Where'd you go? Am I ahead of you? Behind you? Oh, there you are. I'm ahead of you, low. Yeah. We're at three, six, five knots. Man, if I could just get this smoothened out somehow, this would be and not only that but well, also we can just, get this other guy and if we can do a, a break. 
Yeah, that's why I want to stay together. Um, this could be super dope. Like, I love flying over just the real world, man. It's really cool. I'm going to make a left turn, and I'll give you the heading once I'm on that heading. Yeah. Uh, do I have a tutorial for graphic settings in DCS? I do not. Um, but I do, I am sure that, that that one does exist. I recommend giving okay, it a Okay, I got hitting a 0 9 or 5. On YouTube. Man, he is going slow. That 35 gets real slow. Seems like now that we're slowing down, he's smoothing out. Like his, uh, he's not as jittery as he was. He's still bouncing around for me, but not as bad as it was earlier. I wonder if it'd be smoother if it was Microsoft multiplayer and not Vatsim. Curious. We're getting a level one zero thousand and a heading zero nine five, and we're gonna try to rescue about two thousand zero knots. One thing I do like about the uh, fly-by-wire weather, or sorry, uh, traffic injector, is all the contrails up there. That's all. Those are all AI traffic flying around, doing their thing. You getting too fast, this thing is slippery. We're leveling once you're a thousand. Leveling, alright, pulled up. Oh, I'm real slow, oh snap. I'm not sure why altitude hold didn't work, but it's getting us slowly down to one zero thousand. We're about ten point eight. Copy. Might want to bring your speed up on that two nine or zero. Is that a two nine zero knots or two nine zero heading? Uh, two nine zero knots and on zero nine five heading. We still got David with us back there, somewhere. Mr. Bukachi. I don't know what his call sign is. I don't know if this other guy is going to join on us for a rig, but he's pretty high up and pretty fast. Oh, I hate how jittery he is. <laughs> Why is he not smooth? I wonder if it's my connection or his. I think, uh, Goat One taking us to Scenic Route. Oh, there he is. Wait, do we have two guys with us? No, it's just one. One of them is a Microsoft model, the other one is uh Vatsim. Oh, gotcha. So like if we disconnect from Microsoft multiplayer we'll only see one of them. Or if we disconnect from Vatsim we'll see one of them. Yeah, I probably would have known that if I didn't know Microsoft but like I got like ten, fifteen friends I have a ten fifty TI. So, I can hardly run Microsoft. Are you an X-Plane?
Yeah, I think I know what the problem is. I think it's Vatsim. Not sure. Because that other guy is real smooth. You might want to ban that person in your chat. My hands are full. My mom's got to take care of it. That stuff is ridiculous. Nah, just ignore it. Alright, so where are we going? Are we going to Scenic Route or? We already flew over to Charleston. Uh, I'm a vector of Charleston, but uh, I'm keeping it at 290. I'm waiting for him if we want to do a break. I love these clouds. I really do. I really do love these clouds. Once he gets on my right wing, we can do a break, because that would be probably the best time. Well, I mean, you can break now. Uh, we'll break over the airport when we get there. For overhead break for the pattern. Hey, I, I can vector us back and then we can break over there. Yeah. I'm again new heading, I'll let you know what it is in a sec. Yeah, actually, if you look at him, the other, if you look at the F-18, the Microsoft model is smooth, and then the F-35 following behind him, which is the VETSIM model, is being jittery. So that is, it is Trying actually... Trying to beat the speed too much there, because 10,000. Copy. That is actually VETSIM that's jittering like that. So, uh, go, are you on x -Plane? Uh, that's the perimeter. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so honestly, we wouldn't see him at all if he wasn't on VETSIM, so... Uh, Dylan, was it you the one that requested me fly the F-22? Somebody sent me, it was either on a comment or a Discord, I can't remember what it was. Somebody was Just asking heading me F yeah. um, to fly the F-22. This was a while ago. This is like before this plane came out. And uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't got a chance to get around to do it. But I can't, I feel like it was you, Dylan. I feel like it would have been you. <laughs> it might not be, it might be somebody else. Let's actually go with a uh, 310 heading. Alright, on you. Yeah, so if you we were on Microsoft Multiplayer exclusively, uh, for one, we would not be able to see him because he's actually flying on X Plane. Someone um, spawned in and freaking 41 at Charleston. But also. Um, we got a guy probably going to intercept us. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but also, if we were Microsoft exclusively, we would, uh, we would see, uh, we may or may not see the correct models. It depends on what they're flying, if I have the plane, um, but it'll be smoother. It should be, in theory, smoother. <laughs> Boom Overture, thank you so much for that super chat. Boom, in the chat. Thank you so much for that. Or, uh, I'm not sure if it was Super Chat or not, but thank you for that donation. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. We don't really do this very often on um, Microsoft Flight Sim. Usually when we do fighter jet stuff, it's on DCS. But, you know, I was like, you know what? We're going to do DCS tomorrow, but I want to give people a chance who are on, you know, X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim to enjoy some fighter jet action as well. Uh, Join FS is good for military stuff too. I've never used Join FS. I've heard people talk about it before, um, but I've never used it. I guess one reason why I haven't is because I'm, I'm more interested in the uh, ATC side of uh, that sim. But maybe one day I'll try it. I don't know. I don't have any. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not making any promises. <laughs> um, I'd have to like legit. I don't know, I'd have to find a reason to go to Join FS rather than just to do one flight. Uh, once we get to Charleston, though, I'll see if we can do a few maneuvers before we head out. If you are just joining us, we are all in fat sim, flying in the top Mach Studios F-22 on Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, the lead aircraft on our left 
and the F-35 is actually flying an F-16. And for whatever reason, my model matching has changed him to be an F-35. Not really complaining, um, but he is actually Keep flying the speed on the guys. Say that again. Uh, we're keeping our speed 250. Copy. And about 20 miles away now from Charleston again. Uh, you use it while flying on VATSIM. It provides better latency for information flying. Wait, you use JoinFS and VATSIM at the same time? How does that work? Thank you, Monster. Thank you, man. Look at all those planes ahead up uh, above us. All right, 20 miles from Charles. Got that. What's your speed right now? Uh oh, we were going down. Oh, we're bringing back up to 250. Okay, I'm like, you said 250, like, I'm passing you at 225. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I had a throttle arm, but I guess it disconnected. I, I'm just trying to manage it now. I did not know that was a command on VATSIM. Dot ignore. You can ignore the aircraft on VATSIM. Interesting. You can ignore the aircraft on VATSIM. Use Joint FS to see your models. Looks like we have an aircraft about one to two o'clock, about thousand five hundred above. Uh, friendly or hostile? Not sure. Copy. Battle formation. Probably gonna join on to us. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I think we should chase them. Just making a mess on VATSIM. Just why not? <laughs> Yeah, Raptor 1's moving in. Oh uh, yeah, he's definitely joining on to us. If you want to chase him down, you can do that. And, um, me and this other guy are going to stay in formation, and um, y'all can jump back onto us, essentially. Yep, Raptor 1 in pursuit. <laughs> oh, I don't lose him. Oh, there he is. This is why you should you should turn off your uh, your nav lights. Hopefully he doesn't hear me say that. There he is. Oh, a hard turn. Oh, this thing can turn, baby. Let's see. Is he gonna be in that fighter jet or an A330? He's going fast. Alright, brakes, 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 brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. I wonder if he even knows he's getting intercepted right now. <laughs> what is that? Unidentified. Fast mover at 10,000 feet. Looks like an F 35. <laughs> what is this guy actually flying in? Because on my screen is another F 35, which I know is not true. I know that my fighter jets are all defaulting to being F 35s. So, does Joint FS have its own models? I re uh reforming up oh snap. Hey, can somebody in chat look on Vatsim and find out what this other guy's flying in? Uh good one, what do you see that aircraft as? Uh what one? The one that just flew by you. Um that is a T thirty eight for me. Fly heading uh, 270. Alright, send it. Uh, do you know what his call sign is? 
Uh, Raven 41. Ah, uh, so you have made contact. Raven 41, do you copy? Yep, on Unicom, Raven 41, go. Alright, can you come over to guard, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Raven, you there? I don't know if he's on frequency or not. Hey, what's up? Hey, what up, man? How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good. I just want to see what, uh, what kind of plan you flying. F-35. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was, my model match has been kind of messed up. I've been seeing everybody as F-35, so I wasn't sure if you're really a 35 or if you're something else. The model matching is so whack now. Yeah, I'm a 35. One of you is a 22 and one, two of you are 16s. Yeah, that, that is correct now. Uh, me and Juliet Bravo, uh, we are 16s and Raptor 1 is a 22. I, yeah, I figured Raptor 1 was. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, well, uh, we're out to uh, try to fly into Charleston right now. We're going to do a bit of an overhead break once we get in formation if you want to join us. Yeah, that's cool. I just kind of saw y'all cruising around. I was like, oh, what are these dudes doing? So I just left Charleston. <laughs> nice. Uh, call it intercept, intercept practice. Yeah, it was great. I actually, I'm not sure if you noticed it, but I intercepted you pretty hardcore. <laughs> oh, no, I saw you. <laughs> I was looking at the other two. I was like, hey, I, um, uh, Goat One saw you, and I was like, is he friendly or hostile? And he was like, I don't know. I was like, all right, I'm going in. <laughs> well, uh, USAF, so friendly, unless y'all aren't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, where? how far are you guys? I was like, oh, I'm pretty close. Charleston, and I quick took off, and here we are. Yeah, we flew out of Charlotte. Right on. Well, he has, like, luggage under you or something. Uh, it might be me. I got two bags. Two fuel tanks. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It looks like it's like uh, underneath you, like 30 feet. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh oh, did that lag out? Alright, go one, take us home. Actually, I lost eyes on him. Is that him? I don't think that's him. Actually, good when I lost you, do you still see me? Oh, there's somebody. Let's fly heading a 155. Uh, is that a left or right turn? Uh, that's a left. Did you already turn? Oh, I see you. I got eyes on you now. It's tricky because all of you are F-35s for me, so... Hey, yeah, that's Trixie. Hard. Welcome to the stream. I'm just on VRC right now watching us, so I can go us heading south. That's what makes it a lot easier. Do Mavericks maneuver? Which one is that? He does a lot of maneuvers. I, I believe this one is go. Oh, slow down. Dang it, I keep doing that. <laughs> Whoever, um, blue, you just went straight through me, dog. Yep. I lost you, then I found you, then I overpowered. I'm gonna break off and land, and y'all keep flying, and, um, I can get y'all heading with some stuff, if that makes it easier for y'all. No, no, we're landing with you. <laughs> okay. Just take us down and we'll do a overhead break over the field on runway heading and we'll go one by one. Okay. Let's try to get nice and 
80. I almost uh, was jumped on Charleston approach. Are they on? No, I almost did it instead of flying. You know, I honestly, I'd be, it'd be pretty fun if they did. Uh, what's your speed, go one? Oh my lord, my speed is 530. Yeah, you like jetted out like I'm like lost you. That is my bad. <laughs> He's like, alright, I'm out. <laughs> now I gotta find him again. Dang it. Gotta put you through some uh, flight lead training. I'm uh, gotta stop heading uh, 073 now. Which is the left turn 073. Altitude? I think I just flew by him. This shit got us under runway heading, what I'm doing now. What's your altitude? Uh, we are 10.9. It's just fluctuating between 10.7 and 10.9. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work out. <laughs> I keep losing him. Are you going for runway 3? Uh, 3 2. I see lights now. Did y'all just break off? I just made a 360 because I lost you again. Oh uh, yeah, I'm flying a heading of uh, 073 now. Yeah, the heading doesn't help because I can't see you. <laughs> I'm off to y'all probably 11 o'clock. In about a mile and a half to two miles. Alright, somebody's on my left. I don't think that's him. I'm gonna take it down to 3,000. Copy down 3,000. I think that's him way over there. I see somebody uh, up high. Uh, Dylan, I'm definitely gonna buzz the tower. That's absolutely happening. Where's the airport? I'm just gonna go to the airport. No, it's over there. Alright, so I think that's him over there to the right ahead of us, going down to 3,000 now. Well, guys, we tried to do formation. You guys doing left or right or uh, break over the numbers? Um, y'all do left or right? What, what y'all want to do? Yeah, let's do right. Right break over the numbers. I got right. Uh, looks like I should be number two. Uh, you're number three. Oh, okay. I'm soon going to make a final of a heading at 323. I'm honestly surprised that I made it this far on oh, one tank of gas. Or I should say one tank. We got extra tanks, but on a full few tanks of gas. We're doing 2,000, actually. I'm turning left heading through through three now. Copy. Switch over to Unicom. I see, I think that's him. Unless this is him. The map in the airport are giving me something totally different, so I'm a little off course, but I'm about to be on final. Traffic Raven 4-1 is going to be on a right overhead break at 1,000 Charleston for 3-3. Three, three. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the area of Charleston, South Carolina. I think I am going to be three. There's somebody right next to me that I can't see. That's one of the most frustrating, frustrating things when I first got into DCS, was trying to freaking find people. Yes, I did get the enemy jet, and I recruited him <laughs> to our team. Raptor 1, 8 mile final, runway 33 for the overhead break at 1000. Charleston. That's not a right break. Right, now, four one is on the break. Low I'm key saying. for uh, three three right three green. Yep. Yeah, see he's on the break. Go. Where you at? Uh, I'm turning to find him right now. All right, you ready to see overhead break? High speed. Oh, big freeze. <laughs> Afterburner froze up my PC. I'm ready about the about that one. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Somebody's breaking right there. Ah, come on. Wow, if ripped my stop. PC right now. Oh uh, yeah, we're full stop, I think. Awesome traffic. We're at the one overhead break now. Right turn. Speed breaks out, gear down. I don't think the scenery out here is pretty darn nice. It is really nice out here. I'll drop right for one is clear the tree. That was completely broken here for that was. Right four one is clear three three. Raptor one right base three three. Cross it. I'm taking Echo Delta with the uh, ramp. Man, I need some power, power. We got some smokestacks here on our left. What kind of industry? Charleston traffic goes seven clear of the active traffic. I love the tree colors and the traffic on the highway. That looks real. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak myself inside of this hangar right here. Crossing traffic right base. Raptor one. Right, looks like final's clear. I don't see any traffic on final. Gear is down. Yep. Uh, does not go three green, which is weird. That's, uh, hopefully my gear is down. Let's check. It's not. That's why. All right, now the gear, wait, now the gear is up. Okay, now the gear is down. Bro, I would have, good thing I had checked, because we would have put the belly on the ground for real. Charleston traffic. Raptor 1, short final 3-3. Three, three. Charleston. All right, power, power. Uh, traffic on the opposite side, actually. Maybe they're taking off. I bet you can't find us, Blue. See what I mean? Like, it's not super twitchy. We had a nice crosswind, too. There's an A320 off my nose. And dead. <laughs> uh, hold on to her. Hold on to her. 
I, I'm not familiar with Charleston, but I think... Disruptor on, you can take Echo and Delta to the ramp. We made it with fuel to spare. Alright, Charleston Traffic Rapper 1 is clear of all runways. Back to the ramp. Good flight. Uh oh, what? Oh, there we go. Oh, F-18 just landed. Is that a, uh, a Janet 737 over there? It is. <laughs> and that's another Janet 737 landing, or private 737. Uh, is the engine noise the same as default F-18? You know what? Probably. Uh, I think the default F-18 actually sounds better, in my personal opinion. The sounds are not that great. Yep, that is a Janet 737 landing. I think it's FSTLAI. Well, guys, welcome to Charleston. Hope y'all enjoyed that flight. I did. That was pretty cool. I haven't actually done a A to B flight in a jet, like a fire jet, really ever. It was pretty cool. Model is beautiful. I agree. Alright, what I want to do now is I want to some aerobatics. And I want to do it, I want to record it. I'm going to refuel up. And uh, we're going to do some aerobatics. And I'm going to record it with flight control replay. And I'm going to try out some of these maneuvers that uh, you guys have been talking about. Maybe at least a couple before we go. Let's do fuel. And I'm gonna take out some of our payload. In fact, I'm gonna take I'm gonna get rid of the tanks. Wait. My parking brake on. I get rid of the tanks. Nice fight, y'all. Hey man, good stuff. I'm gonna stick around here and do some uh Aerobatic practice to it before I leave. Sounds good. I'll watch from the ground. Oh yeah, enjoy the show. Uh, I see menu. Uh, I think it's config sim, and then second page and drop tanks. So now they should be gone. Look at that smoke over there. I don't know why A320 is smoking, but it is. Man, I don't know what is causing my sim to stutter. Uh, is this Raptor available on Xbox? I'm not sure. You got to go take a look and see for yourself. I know it's available on the marketplace, but I don't know if it's Xbox compatible. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. All right, so we're all fueled Who's up. Going back up again? Raptor one. If you don't go back up with Raptor, then you can. I might tell him to bait if I want to jump on approach somewhere or not. You control? Yeah, I'm an S3 in uh, ZJX. Sweet. Control like approach Charleston. and down. Very nice. You should do Charleston approach. No, I will. Give me two minutes. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, if he if he does approach, I can't, I can't do aerobatics here. <laughs> don't you love when your friend ends up being on vacuum with you flying and you don't realize it? <laughs> Let me see. Replay mode activated. All 
Y'all doing okay in the chat? Uh, there's an F-35, F-18 hybrid off my left ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. Uh, the reason that's a hybrid is because one of these models is for VATSIM multiplayer and one of them is for Microsoft multiplayer. Um, so if this person was not on VATSIM, I would only see the F-18. If this person was only on Microsoft, wait. No, if it was only on Microsoft, I see the F-18. If this person was only on VATSIM, I will see the F-35. So, yeah. Alright, we hit record on this. I mean, I guess, I guess if Approach hops on, uh, we can't really do aerobatics, but we could do some touch and goes. I guess. I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. He'll let you do some aerobatics. Me and him are friends. Oh, it's his friend. Oh, okay, that sounds like fun. I will do some aerobatics then. Okay, dope. I didn't know that was your friend. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I really, was it, and then I was like, I feel like I recognize that voice. I messaged him, and it's him. I'm like, oh wow. Uh, yeah, Emily, you can send it to me. Uh, just DM me. Uh, Matt, have I flown the F thirty five? Only a little bit. I haven't spent a lot of time in it, so I I can't judge it because I haven't spent very much time in. It. So I don't know. All right, we're gonna taxi out. Now that we're fuel, fuel, and we're expecting to see Charleston approach pop online. Oh, there it is, right there. Let's see what the frequency is. Frequency is. Oh wait, this is somebody else. Oh, Charleston approach is on though. Uh, one two zero seven. I'm on. Charleston Approach, Raptor 1, radio check. Raptor 1, Charleston Approach, hello again. Hello. Alright, how do I request? I just want to f do aerobatics. <laughs> let, me, let me check, uh, let me look at something real quick. Because I have, there's a couple maneuvers I want to try. And I need to... I probably won't stick around very long because I know as soon as Charleston Approach pops on, he's going to start getting traffic from other places too. Uh, I'm actually going to file a flight plan as well. I'll leave you guys on the outside view for a bit. I had to jump out of my plane and run across the tower quick. Yeah, weather's nicer in there. I think my Got camera. Got the in there? I need some. It's a uh, nice 70 degrees here. I don't think you need any. Nice. Maybe a little warm for me. KCHS, KCHS, ultimate RDU if we need to. Uh, ceiling 10,000. Cruise speed 600. <laughs> uh, fuel 2. Remark. Aerobatic. Practice. You using Power 3D Pro or the 3D view? Nope, I don't have that. Uh, I think I it's a it's special view. Is that too? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Alright, flight blends file. And it's like ADIS is online as well. 1247. The 10. Feeling 2000 broken. Temperature 21. 2.14, altimeter 3005, expect visual approach landing and departing runways 3 and 33 3 and use. BFR aircraft say direction of flight, push and start at pilot discretion, re-ed back all runway assignments and hold short instructions, operate transponder on mode C on all taxiways and runways, advise on initial contact, you have information Oscar. All right, we have Oscar. Uh, so we're over at the FBO area. We should be on the other side, though. Uh, the actual base is on the west side of the field. And we're over at the business jet FBO. 
No, wait. No, no, we're, we're, we are on the east side. We landed on 3-3. Yeah, okay, so we're in a restricted area. Base ops. Uh, we'll call in it. Wait, how do we get back to 3-3? Get a back taxi? Oh, no, we go down there. Echo, intersection Echo and Delta. Uh, Charleston approach, Raptor 1 request clearance for classified operations above the airport. Is that what I say, Fabio? Is that what I say? For real? <laughs> Charleston approach, Raptor 1. Raptor 1, go for Charleston. Yeah, uh, how do I request for aerobatic practice over Charleston? I have a VFR flight plans. You could just you could just do it like that. Uh, loop call like a high speed low approach. How's that? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Are you going to be in the pattern? Yeah, I'll stay in the pattern. Uh, Raptor one, you I got your clearance, Ray. Ready to copy, Raptor one. Raptor one, you're cleared. Charleston, uh, maintain VFR at or below. I'll give you a, I'll give you six thousand. And uh, Squawk, are you going to fly out anywhere? Or are you staying? Are you going to stay local right here? I'm staying local. All right, Squawk, VFR. All right, clear uh, for a special VFR around Charleston at um, no higher than six thousand. Uh, squawk VFR at one two zero zero. Raptor one. Raptor one, your back is correct. You have your runway choice three or three three. Adis Oscar is current. Which runway would you like? We'll take 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we're currently over at Delta and Echo. All right, Raptor 1, when you're ready, taxi runway 3-3 three, three via Delta Foxtrot and cross 3-3-3 three and three, three on Foxtrot. All right, over to 3-3, three, three, cross, I mean, uh, go via Delta Foxtrot, cross 3 uh, and 3-3 three, three at Foxtrot, uh, Raptor 1. Right. Actually, Raptor 1, just cross runway 3, you can expect a mid uh, departure from Fox Trot at 3-3. How's that? Raptor 1, all right, cool. So Delta to Fox Trot, cross 3, intersection departure at 3-3, Raptor 1. Gotcha. Yep, you got it. All right, sounds good. This is going to be fun. <laughs> all right, brakes off. Let's do it. All right, by the way, if you guys are flying with me on VETS, and make sure you also get your own clearance. How do I get back to the other page? There we go. All right, let's find out where we are. SHS. We're currently on Delta somewhere. We'll make a right here. This is going to be uh, taxiway Delta. And we'll find Foxtrot, which will come up in a short bit. Make a left on Foxtrot and then cross runway 3. Or actually, hold sh no, he did say cross it. So cross runway 3 and then hold short 3-3 three, three at the intersection of Foxtrot. And we'll take off from there. So we don't need a lot of runway uh, to take off on this plane. Anyways, all right, Emily, sounds good. I'll, I'll check the DM uh, after the stream is over. I do have replay running at the moment, so that's good. So we can watch it back if we want to watch the show back later on. This should be Foxtrot right here. This is a freeware airport, so don't ex... Oh, wait, this is not... <laughs> not attack. What the heck is that? What is that supposed to be? Okay. That's not our, that's not our turn. I think this next one is gonna be Foxtrot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as I was kind of mentioning earlier when we were in flight, it'd be nice to have some more, like, Air Force bases and military bases, and, uh, and even Coast Guard spots as well, you know, because I like to, lately I've been flying a lot of the H-145 uh, in the Coast Guard paint job. 
and been struggling to find places to fly out of with nice scenery uh, to do like you know military operations and coast guard and border patrol type of stuff and it's just not very nice you know um, the scenery the, the default scenery is not very nice for any airport <laughs> to be honest look at that southwest coming in over there on uh, it's like I'm not sure where they're going uh, I think he said we're clear uh, Charleston just Confirming we're clear to cross three. Hey, I'm cross three. I ain't crossing three. Is he landing here? Is there another airport nearby? Yeah, he went behind the trees. Alright, so right up here should be the intersection of runway 33. And yep, it is. Oh, I think I hold here. I should hit up Miramar MCAS in North Island. Miramar has some payware mods that are pretty nice. Uh, to that's where they hold the air shell, so you have some realism. Yeah, I do have Miramar. It's really good, really good by Latin VFR. And I also have uh, the other one, uh, Nellis. Both great airports. You know, um, I just don't want to go there every single time for military. So I want to be able to kind of branch out. Anyway, let's get our clearance with tech, or takeoff. Oh, wait, we have a squawk code? No, we're squawking, squawking VFR. Cool. Boston Raptor 1 holding shorts from a 33 at Foxtrot. Are you ready to go? Raptor 1 left close traffic is approved for the low approach. Wind 020 at 10 gust of 1. Six, oh, wrong airport. Point zero three zero nine or on the tree cliff takeoff. Three three cliff takeoff, right to one. Hey, this is what I'm talking about right here. Fighter jets with ATC. Let's get some. I right, said left close traffic, no higher than six thousand feet. Send it. There for the low approach. And rotate. We up, baby. You're up. I forgot I had that view. That's sick. Alright, let's not lose. Alright, then here we time to do some fun stuff. Charleston. By the way, guys, at um, Nellis Air Force Base, I found out there's a TFR for a, uh, I think it's a 75th anniversary event or something like that, like a big air show going on um, in uh, a week or two. And it's a TFR that's, it's not active yet, but it's a TFR that shows, hey, there's an air show going to be here in a few days. If you go over to the chart, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this area a lot. I really do. Very nice detail for like, I don't know, nothing against people who live out here in Charleston area in South Carolina, but like, you know, it's just, it's not one of those like hallmark places in the United States that people just all are just in a hurry to go to. Uh, and yet it has very nice scenery and now I'm like yo you need people need to fly out here more often now uh, Charleston is not Traffic only cleared. High speed low approach wind zero two zero nine runway tree tree clear for low approach clear for low approach Raptor one runway three three um, but it also has an international airport side too so it does take passengers as an FBO for charter flights GA plane, so it has it does a lot of things. Which is, I like airports like that that do multiple services there. All right, guys, coming in for a low approach, nice and fast. Turn it up. That's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. We gotta we gotta get lined up for it. I'm gonna try to do a low approach here, inverted, and stay on the center line. Let's see if we can make that happen. What do you think? 
We gotta get ready for our air show. All right, pull in a few Gs. It says 30 G. That can't be right. No, 1.4 G. Oh, we're stalling. <laughs> oh my God, we lost a lot of altitude there. All right, here we go. Don't do that in the air show. Definitely woke up everybody in South Carolina. All right, let's flip it. Gas it up. I'm trying, I'm trying. A little high and all be. Oh, that Southwest landed here. Cool. Not bad. We can do better. We can do better. Yee. Watch our altitude and speed this time. I do want to try the snake thingy, or the, what do they call it? What do they call that, that move the F-22 does? Alright, let's go. Oh, look, another F-22. On our left. I think he's a Microsoft flight sim, so he's not, have to worry about ATC. Oh man, the cloud shadowing too. Very nice. All right, we have so we're at uh, one thousand. I'm gonna keep stay around here. I want to find something real quick. Community photo. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? I gotta find it. Top lock. Top lock. Top lock. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Again, this this uh this plane comes with a manual. <laughs> And it tells you how to do some of those maneuvers, those famous maneuvers. I want to see if I can find it so I can try one. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? There's Cobra. That's what it's called. All right, the Cobra. I'm going to try the Cobra. Begin with the altitude at least 500 AGO, 250 knots. All right. This is what it says in the manual it's for, to do the Cobra. In flight level, nose and wings level with the horizon. Let's make sure we know where the airport is. That's back there. We'll make give us a bunch of space. I think Charleston's a class Charlie. Can't remember. Yeah, it has approach. It's a class Charlie. Uh, airspeed of approximately 250 knots. All right, we're slow. And then we're gonna go max power, make a medium to hard pull into vertical, and then push the angle of the attack, approach it at or above 70 degrees. As soon as the nose is pointing at the vertical, at the vertical, initiate a forward stick movement to push the nose back down to level with the horizon. Don't allow airspeed to bleed off too much or you will run out of available control authority to finish the pushover portion of the maneuver. Oh boy. Okay. That sounds... That sounds... That sounds hard. <laughs> that sounds hard. Alright, here we come. Crossing approach. Raptor 1. Go yeah, Raptor 1. Raptor 1 on uh, sort of final for the uh, Cobra. Raptor 1, you're clear, low approach, wind 030 at 9er, runway 33. Runway 33, clear for low approach, Raptor 1. Yeah, Raptor 1, just do that from now on, please, just call your base turn and file to gray. Hey, firm. Alright, 250. Maybe above 500 AGL, so I don't get too low. Alright, we're close-ish to 250. I don't even know where my speed, is, my altitude is. Now we're at five. Oh, we're at 500 exactly. That's great. I'm gonna be higher. Speed. All right, I'm gonna go from 250 to max power. I'm gonna pull up. All right. Three, two, one. Did I do it? <laughs> I don't know if I did it. <laughs> I can't tell. That's what it said to do. Michael, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. 
That's what it said to do. It said to max power, pull up to go vertical. We have to watch the replay later on and see how we did. Uh, pull up to go vertical. And then push the nose back over. That's what it says. So that's what I that's what I did. I don't think we're gonna see the effect from the cockpit. We we'll have to watch it back in the replay. We'll try the next maneuver now. So we'll call our base. Is what he said. Again, uh, every time I turn from the crosswind, I'm just like, oh my god, the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not mountains and stuff, you know what I mean? It's not that, but it's still just nice in its own way. Yeah, I guess we did it. It's just, it's just it's not as exciting from the cockpit as it is from the uh, third person viewer point of view. I'm right, gonna hold our speed there for a little bit and read out our next maneuver, the power loop. Uh, at least 1500 AGL, that's where we're at right now. Enter maneuver with nose and wings level with horizon. All right. With airspeed approximately 300 knots to 330. And then max power, make a hard pull, um, allowing the plane to pull all the way around the through the vertical into the inverted and back around. So basically it's just a loop. That's really all it is. Okay. So how high? 1,500 feet? All right. And where are we at? I'm gonna have to go back and like legit practice all this stuff and then come back like a freaking pro. One of these days I'm gonna surprise you. If you're just joining us, I am not a professional aerobatic pilot. So, yeah, just want you just want you to know that. That's all. Crossed in Raptor 1, left base 33. Three. Raptor 1, wind. No change, 0 through 0 at 9, runway 3 clear, high speed, low approach. Runway 33, clear, high speed, low approach, Raptor 1. All right, again, 330 knots. Let's go. We're going in for the loop, guys. Full loop at 1500. So let's get to 1500. We do have clouds. We keep our eyes on instruments. Going in final. All right, stage is on the left, guys. The stage is on the left. All right, there's 1500. Up a little fast. All right, the speed is look good enough for me. slow now. Oh, some stutter there. We're right at the ceiling of these clouds. And what is going on with my FPS? And ready for the loop. Here comes the loop. Max power. Oh, he stalled. Power out of it. Power out of it. Not bad. <laughs> uh, it was like, I was like, man, this is too easy. And then we started stalling on the way back in. I was like, okay, I see the issue now. I see the issue now. Not bad. I, one th one, the one thing I am happy about is that we actually stayed on runway center through the whole turn. I think that's the hardest part, is staying runway center on the turn. We were close, we were, we were off to the left of runway, yeah, a little bit, but we were not super far off. It was a pretty even wings level turn there. All right, let's get slowed down as we go behind the crowd again. Just imagine that the crowd is on the left of the runway as we come into the runway over the river. What's crazy is that from here, and you'll see in the replay view when we get back here, we, like we're invisible, you can't see us. We blend in with the background. 
Alright, let's level off and we'll read our next maneuver. <laughs> We're learning as we go here. What's next? So that was a power loop. Next we have the J turn. Ooh. Alright. This maneuver requires some altitude, at least 2,500 AGL. Alright, let's gain some altitude while we're reading this. Uh, to ensure room to recover, maintain max thrust for the duration of the maneuver from nose and wings level with horizon with airspeed of between 100 can be at least uh, a little less and 180 knots. Let's level off here. Initiate a medium to hard pull into vertical, at least 60 degrees nose up or higher. Make sure to keep the back stick pressure all the way through the maneuver to maintain high angle of attack. As the nose approaches the vertical and angle of attack exceeds 60 degrees, push rudder and aileron to full deflection. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of stuff in there. Uh, it's best practice from higher altitude for us to get the feel for this. Uh, we're in a cloud, so can't see anything. Right rudder, right stick to go right, left rudder, left stick to go left. Okay, I think I think I, I've I've read enough. <laughs> I know what to do. All right, where's the airport? There's the airport over there. Base. Charleston Raptor One, uh, left base. Raptor One, wind zero three zero nine, runway three three, clear, low approach. Alright, what was the speed we need to be at for this? Clear low approach, 3-3, three, three, Raptor 1. Alright, Raptor 1 is coming back around for the J-turn maneuver at 2,500, please. We need to be much higher. We're going to be in the clouds a little bit, but that's okay. We still got it. The J-turn is basically going to go up, flip, and back down. about 300 knots. I can barely tell if I'm over the runway, but I think we are. Here's 2,500. Max thrust. Pull straight up. 60. Flip it. Back down. Okay, I can't see anything. We need to practice that one. Uh-oh. Yep. That was wrong. That was wrong. Yeah, these clouds made that very difficult. These clouds made that very difficult. Alright, back this way. Uh, uh oh, we're stalling. We're stalling. Which one was 3 3? This one. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's 3 3. I think. I lost all of my orientation completely. Oh, that, that's the runway we're going to be on over there. Alright, we did that wrong. We gotta try it again. That was difficult. That one is harder than I thought it would be. That's a cool, I like that one though. The J turn sounds cool. Right, let's try it again. Bit of a tighter pattern. Look at that thing, man. That thing looks mean. It's so funny because before flying, before flying this plane, I really wasn't a massive fan of the S22. Like I like it, I respect it, just not my favorite. Just not my favorite. Uh, I you know I still prefer the Super Hornet, the F16, even F35. I prefer over the. Uh... Okay, that's our runway. I completely lost my orientation when I went to the clouds. That's crazy. Man, that was intense. That was not pretty. Alright, fuel is good. I'm gonna try the J turn again. Uh, one thing I did not do is rudder <laughs> last time. Let's see, after the J turn is gonna be the pedal turn and that one I don't think I'm gonna be able to do and then the low oh the low speed pass we do the low speed high alpha pass that'll be our big our, our big uh finale for the show yeah 
Emily, you're actually drawing an F-16 at lunch. That's cool. You know, when I was uh, younger, I had a whole binder uh, full of fighter jet and airplane drawings. Um, this is before I got into flight simulator, before I had a computer or, you know, anything. And before I ever had tried flight simulator, I knew I was interested in planes and I had these little books that had, uh, like, you know, fighter jets in it and planes in it and I would just go and draw them on my own notepad. I probably still have them. Crossed it and left base with three. Craft one, wind zero two zero nine, runway three three, clear low Three three, low push, Craft one. All right, tries again. The good news is we have plenty of altitude. The problem was I lost all of my spatial uh, orientation, so we have to pay a lot of attention to our HUD because once we go up, we're not going to be able to see anything. So right now our heading is three three six. We're at twenty one hundred ish. A little slow. Let's go ahead and gain speed now. Max power. Pull we'll after burner. And we actually want to roll out of this, going in the opposite direction. So, ready? Pull up, straight up. We're going to do a slope. Alright, flip. There we go. And back around the other way. And that, my friends, is the basic J-turn. And now we're just gonna, since we're only approved to do left traffic, we're just gonna make a real quick tight turn back to, ah, breathe, um, back to our heading. But we did it though, that was dope. I shouldn't full power on a mover. It says the full power on the mover. The, uh, the manual says maintain max thrust for duration of the maneuver. I'm not sure why it says that's what it says. All right, guys, for our finale, though, we're going to go back and practice all this later on. It'd be kind of fun to do these, like, get, like, a group of people to all, like, you know, practice some stuff for air show. It'd be pretty sick. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can go back to Nellis. What was that next? In a couple weeks uh, for the uh, air show. And do our own little virtual air show just for fun. All right, next up we have the slow speed pass. An air show demonstration the aircraft is brought to low speed and around 900 feet. That's gonna be difficult. Uh, as the aircraft flies, <laughs> I'm trying to read it at the same time. Where's the airport? There's over there. All right, cool. I was gonna let it stay in a bit of a, a roll. Uh, the, the aircraft is slowed, and while slowing, it's pitched up approximately 35 degrees nose high, and airspeed maintained at approximately 65 knots. Whoa! The altitude staying at 900 thrust level will be at or near mill power. That's not max. That's mill power. To hold its altitude, the angle of attack should be should be maintained approximately 36 degrees and not allowed to increase above 40. The AOA or degrees AOA to prevent unwanted sink rate or decrease above. That's cause this is a difficult maneuver. Actually, at one point I had figured out how to do the, the slow speed high alpha um, maneuver or pass on um, what was it, uh, DCS a while back, but I haven't done it in a long time. Uh, you saw videos, they drop the power and then they pull up and drop the nose to left, let the aircraft fall back down and go the way it came. You know, Dylan, that makes more sense to me, honestly. That makes more sense. I think that's a good way to do it as well. So how do I get into the slow path? That's my question. Alright, we're gonna try it. Do I do flaps? Can I put my flaps down? It doesn't say anything. Raptor 1, wind 0 to 0 9 er runway 3-3, three, three, uh, clear low approach. 3-3, three, three, clear low approach. Uh, Raptor 1. Alright, 
Well, we'll try it. Um, we're just gonna wing it. I don't actually really know how to do this. This is gonna probably take me a few passes to get it. I'm only gonna try one. After this, we're gonna do a full stop in the Charleston. We'll be done for the day. It's so funny because like whenever I do some of these like fighter jet streams, like I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna do a, a one hour live stream. <laughs> I'll just be on there for. I don't. I don't have any. I didn't have any plans for this flight. I was like, yeah, we're just gonna go out there and wing it. But it's been pretty cool. Uh, Rory saying, I'm sorry, but you just missed the actual formation flight, my friend. We did one uh, from Charlotte to Charleston, picked up a guy from Vats, and he is now our ATC controller <laughs> in Charleston. So uh, maybe next time, though, I'm definitely down to do another formation flight uh, if we could get organized and, uh, and try it out. Uh, next time I might, I don't know, we'll see, but next time I might, I don't know. I'm not going to say it. I, I want to say next time we might just do exclusively Microsoft so we can get the right models, but... I like the Vatsim element of it. Okay, here we go, guys. We're coming into Charleston 4. Uh, we've been cleared for the low approach. There's the train, uh, the train yard down below us. And this is the slow pass. Uh, slow, the high alpha slow pass. We want to be down in 900 AGL. That's 900 right there. And let's get real slow here. Real slow. Speed bleed off slowly. I don't want to lose control. It says we're going to have... What was it? How many? Was it 45 degrees? 35 degrees. Alright, 35 degrees and those up. We're losing altitude. Are we... Are we gaining altitude? Ugh. 35, 35, there's 35. Wait, no, it's up there. Uh oh. Are we doing it? Am I doing it? <laughs> Am I doing it? I can't tell. I think we're doing it! Oh snap. I think we're doing it. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, again, 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 again. Again, again. Alright, 35 degrees. Alright, there's 35. Slow. Bro, I, f I think we're freaking doing it. We're freaking doing it, guys. Oh my god, this why is that so easy? Oh, I can't wait to watch that replay. Alright, power out of it. Oh, that was epic. Oh my god, that was so cool. I really did not think I was going to actually get it. Man, that was... I want to do that in DCS now. I have to try that in DCS. Roger 1, Charleston Approach. I'm going to have to close here in about a minute. So uh, go ahead and go to Unicom 12280. And uh, a lot of fun. We'll see you another time. Hey, man. Thanks for the ATC and thanks for the fly-in. Uh, we're coming in for our final stop this time. But thank you. Have a great day, man. You bet. We'll see you. All aircraft operating, Charleston Approach is now closed. Go to Unicom 12280. Along. That was good stuff. This, this is some of the best. Like, so this is some of the most fun you'll have in in gaming in general. It's like the the random events that you did not plan. Like I just mentioned, like I did not really plan out this stream. I was like, we're just gonna fly around an F twenty two. That gets my whole plan. <laughs> I didn't have plans to to do formation fly. I didn't have plans for anybody to join me. Um, I was like, we're just gonna try to do some things and just have some fun. And that's basically how it, it panned out, is we, you know, were able to join up with a couple other jets on VATSIM. Uh, this is the first time actually doing a... Is it? I think this is our first time doing a fighter jet live stream on VATSIM. Usually we're, you know, on multiplayer for Microsoft only. Let's go ahead and uh, switch over to Unicom. But uh, super nice of that guy to uh, hop on Charleston Approach for us and give us a chance to do some legit low approaches and maneuvers and practice. I'm definitely in love with that um, slow pass maneuver we just did. That was epic. That was freaking epic. So, all right, coming in left base now in the Charleston. We'll go make our call on Unicom now. So, Charleston traffic Raptor 1 now, left base from a 33 Charleston. We'll stop. 
Yeah, I think my favorite two is a slow pass and the J turn. Those are two things that I want to work on. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to go over to DCS. What am I doing today? I don't know. Probably not today, but tomorrow we'll be streaming DCS. Um, not planning on doing aerobatics in particular. We'll be doing some mission stuff. All right, gear's coming down. But, um, or maybe we'll do aerobatics. What do you guys think? Tomorrow, for DCS, should we just do our regular mission stuff? Or should we hop on an aerobatic server? I haven't done that in a long time. And uh, I'm sure there'll be people on there to join up with and do some aerobatic flying. Or even do some of what we're doing now. But, you know, in DCS is a bit, a bit more difficult because the flight model is more realistic in DCS. Alright, here we come. Check gear. Gear is down. Land lights are on. Clearance received. Charleston traffic, Raptor 1, short final runway 33, Charleston. Alright, a little bit off. There is some wind. Hey, that velocity vector is completely wrong. Completely wrong. Alright. And don't forget, we also recorded this whole, whole thing. Can we bounce? We're on the ground. We're on the ground. Okay. Uh, record the whole thing with flight Chapter control. Chapter 1, Howard, the always approaches. Oh, it was great. Uh-oh, I don't know if my... Why does it feel like I'm on... I wish I could have watched. I was doing something for bathroom controlling with um, Nick, because we had some issues. There's, uh, like, a controlling crossing coordination quiz you got to do, and that kept, like, same answers, different answers, same before, and... Now we think it's bugged or something, so it's a pain. Yeah, well, thanks, man. Thanks for joining. Of course, when are you going live next? Tomorrow on DCS. Oh, I wish I could go on DCS, but I can't. Like, my PC is terrible. Yeah, tomorrow we'll be on DCS World, and next week. Uh, we might We might have something really cool plan for Thursday if we can get it organized but uh, we'll probably fly commercial again on uh, Thursday but we might have some special guests joining us so trying to organize that now I think you guys will like it yeah we we'll live tomorrow and we'll be live next Thursday and Friday as well and then hopefully Monday Wednesday Monday through Wednesday I can get some videos posted up for you guys to enjoy as well all right so we're on the ground we're gonna disconnect from VATSIM now uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm going to run back and we're going to watch the replay uh, with Flight Control Replay. Hopefully it recorded it pretty well. Because uh, I want to see that from like the exterior point of view. It, it, it felt right. Some of them felt wrong, but a lot, that, that last couple passes felt right. Uh, again, love the J-turn, love the slow pass. And let's hit play on it. Uh, is the blue experience still a thing? Yes, it is absolutely a thing. Uh, we just haven't... Uh, it's been like a month, I think. We haven't recorded an episode because of scheduling. Uh, you know, it is me and XP doing the show together. So it's either I've been having something going on, or he has something going on, or it's, we're busy. You know, it's been kind of tough. But we're definitely bringing the show back, so don't worry. Um, we have a... We have a really good show planned. We just gotta get a Thursday where we can we can both do it. Um, speaking of that, though, tonight, uh, later on today, I am going to be doing a show on my channel with FSA Flight Sim Association. Uh, we'll be uh, talking with Pimax, which is a uh, the maker of a their own VR headset for flight simulators, and uh, I'll be getting a chance to talk with them and find out what they're offering to the community. There's supposed to be some discounts uh, and deals for people who are watching. So definitely come back later on to uh, support us or support me and watch that as well. Uh, as you guys know, I do love flying in VR. Doing stuff like this is really fun in VR. But I have personally not tried 
their specific VR headset. So looking into, um, looking, looking forward to learning more about their headset and what they have to offer, uh, because they're really the only, the only company so far in the VR industry that's really kind of supported flight sim. Like no one else, you know, no one else, you know, even gives us any recognition that we exist. <laughs> uh, but so far, Pimax seems to be putting a lot of effort into making VR. Uh, a good experience for flight simmers and for aviation enthusiasts. So, looking forward to seeing that. All right, so as I said, we're gonna watch the, re the replay now. Not the whole thing, but we'll just skim through it. I wanna see some of our passes that we made. Great looking jet, though. And yeah, I have to say, if, when it, if, you, if you were to ask me, what is your favorite jet to fly on Microsoft Flight Sim? I would narrow it down to two jets. The F-18, uh, Super Hornet, aka the Super Warrior mod, um, which is a free mod for the F-18 Hornet, and this. This is now, it may be my, my favorite, it might be, it's top two for sure, I'm not sure if it's my favorite. Alright, here's a low pass, inverted. Man, it looks so much higher from out here. <laughs> Sorry, my drone camera is tripping. That's a pretty nice, this thing flies really stable upside down all right let's go for it the next one i can't remember what our next move was uh what about the f-35 i mean i like the f-35 as a plane in general but i haven't tried it oh yeah that was a cobra okay i think we probably should have stuck it up there a bit longer or maybe a little less power see how we did. Yeah, tower view was show better, but I'm having a problem with my my thing. You know, let me, me, let me just see if I can hook up a tower view for y'all. Okay, tower's way over there. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really tried the F-35. I'll probably try that one next and see, but I gotta learn how to fly it first. Alright, I'm gonna hold I don't know what the tower is. We're just gonna move our drone camera way over here somewhere. And kind of create like a, a show camera. Like down here where like you would watch an air show, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, because I can't really lock on the view, so I'm gonna have to try my best to stay keep my camera on with it, you know what I mean? I have to try VTOL VR. You know, I actually haven't, Harold. Uh, believe it or not, uh, it's been on my wish list <laughs> uh, on Steam for a long time, and I, I still have yet to actually give it a try. I need to, though. It's been on sale multiple times. It's really no excuse for me not trying it out. All right, where's our jet? Y'all see the jet? Oh, here it comes. Uh, you can tell it. We didn't really do it well. Like we, we just. I don't think we're supposed to gain altitude when we do it. Yeah, this camera is very difficult. You know what I'm looking forward to? I finally watched that FS realistic first person view thing. That looks epic. It looks really cool. Yeah, this is not gonna work. So this is us attempting to do the Cobra. And, uh, yeah, I don't think we did it right. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't look right to me. On to the next one. What's, what was after that? I think the next one was the J-turn, I believe. All right, Scaper, thank you, man, again, for um, flying out with us today. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for leading the formation. We'll definitely work on that for next time on our communication and work on our organization of flying together. All right, I see. What was that? I think this was. No, this was a regular loop. That's what this was. Look at that. 
Look at that. That's pretty cool. That was pretty dope. I'll watch it from here. Great view. Alright, let's run it back. It's a tiny, tiny bit. And there is good. Alright, coming in for the loop. You get to work with the F-35 demo team next week? How? <laughs> That's cool. Bro, this thing has a ridiculous turning radius. Oh my god. That is crazy. Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay, this was our... First attempt at the J turn. Didn't go too well. I couldn't see anything. We went into the clouds. That's cool, man. That's that's great, man. Enjoy it. The Atlanta Air Show. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, the 35 demo team is pretty good. I've seen them a bunch of times. There we go. First attempt. So we yeah, look at that. We just flipped it. Like all weird. And I got here and I couldn't tell if I was where you know what I mean and I finally saw the ground and I was like all right I gotta turn this way and we almost died look at this falling out of the sky one thing that this plane is missing is like that really big like like when the afterburners hit like that really big burst of of uh heat haze like it has a little bit of heat haze but it's not big enough like this 20 the s22 has so much power they also need to work on the sounds the sounds are really watered down all right it should be us turning final for a low pass again but for our second attempt at the j turn See how we did it this time. We took it slow this time too. We didn't like just throw it in. Like we just really took it slow. Got to understand the movements here. There we go. Pulling up slowly. Flip around and back down. Stayed in the power the whole time, and we should roll back out right. On the heading of the opposite heading of the runway. And then we'll flip it around again because of ATC. Bro, look how tight that turn was. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, now from the one I've been waiting to see, and that is the. Uh, I think it's here. Yeah, here we go. This is the um, slow speed high alpha. Had a few stutters here too. Now we're supposed to be oh, 900 feet, which I think we were at the beginning. I think we did the gain out too later on. So slowing down. No flaps. I think it has automatic slats, kind of like the F-18. Then we're losing altitude, losing altitude, losing altitude. Looking for 35 degrees. Now we're just shooting up. So we really weren't doing it. We're just kind of climbing. We're losing altitude again. A bit more angle. Too much power. I'm going to maintain altitude. There it is. Okay, still too much power. I started losing it. Started losing it. I think I tried it a second, a third time, didn't I? Uh, this is the replay. I'm not doing this right now.
Yeah, I think that yeah, we're we're kind of yeah we're keeping our altitude for the most part, losing a little bit. Yeah, there it is. We did it for a little bit. We did it higher than we should do. We won't do it nice and low, but that's a start. That's a start. That's a start. All right, we'll let it roll back around and do the landing. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you, uh, thank you for those of you who did join us in the flight. I do appreciate that. Thank you, David, as well. I know you joined in and hopped in uh, with us in the flight, which is pretty cool. Uh, as I said multiple times, we'll be back again tomorrow uh, for some DCS World. And uh, please let me know if you would prefer us to do aerobatics uh, on the aerobatics server or if we just do what we usually do and do our um, air to ground or air to air missions. Uh, we'll be flying the F-18, but if you want to join us, you're free to fly the F-16 or whatever you want. Um, we might even hop into Apache. I don't know. Probably not. But if we do, we might. But it's been fun. It's been cool. Um, I do like this plane a lot. I do. I do. I do. But uh, guys, if you need any, have any questions, you can always hit me up on Instagram or DM me on Discord. I'll reply as soon as I can. Um, yeah. Emily, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Scaper, thank you again. Dylan, thank you for all your expertise, my friend. Harold Slate, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mike of Boy Productions, thank you as well. Luhan Lutz, thank you so much. David Bukachi, thank you again. Uh, can you switch the frequency in F-18? Yes. I don't remember how, but I believe you can. Uh, Rory Sang, thank you very much. Appreciate that as well. Squeezy, thank you. I do, I should say, I do have a couple griefs with this plane, is you can't easily change the frequency inside if you want to fly on eight with ATC and stuff like that. That's one thing I don't like. Um, and there's also a few other things on the inside you can't click on that I want to click on that, you, that I don't like as well. I just want to point that out. I do like the plane, but it, it does have some shortcomings as well. So don't, it's not perfect, that's for sure. Um, but I've enjoyed flying it today. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the replay. Remember, you have one, three choices. Give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next the video. Uh, yes, there is a stream later today. And like four hours or something like that from now. Uh, going back live, talking VR. So see you guys later. Enjoy the replay. Enjoy the landing. See ya. Shee. Tail strike. Bad tail strike. Nose is down. Welcome to Charleston, South Carolina. We out.